What's up everyone? It's your girl Anime Rear Girl here and I have a new video for you guys today and in today's video when you guys see this which is going to be on Saturday um, it's actually going to be a review on the anime Kiss Him Not Me and I know it's been a long time coming. Here it is February the show in finished airing in December but I believe I was watching it um, via Funimation's new simulcast dub so I believe the last episode came out probably sometime in January-ish was when the last episode so I'm not that far behind when the last episode has since aired. Um, so Kiss Him Not Me has 12 episodes. Last time which I will link the video down below I did a first impressions on it which I reviewed episodes 1 through 6 and my view on them so far. Now I watched episodes 7 through 12 so I'm going to review the entire series as a whole and um i watched it via funimation via their new simulcast dub system which i'll also do a complete review on that since i've now finished a series on there and yeah so let's get into this this review so once again i watched his him not me which basically followed uh from like for me explaining a little bit of the show followed Kai Serenuma, who at the beginning is a complete and total otaku, and she loves a uh, yaoi series. And so she, at the time, at the beginning of the series, she is a bigger girl. And then after watching the series and watching her favorite character um, die, I believe, in the series, she gets very depressed and sad, which causes her to lose weight and causes her to look very different than she did before. And she catches the attention of four guys and also later on in the series towards the middle, a, a girl as well and they're all basically vying for her attention so you have Yusuke Igarashi, Asuma Mitsumi, Nozomu Nanashima, Shin Shima Nishina and uh, which is the girl and then you have Hayato Shinomiya and they're all vying for her attention and in the first half of the series it really touched on some topics to me concerning our society and as far as how our society looks at people who look very good and who are visually appealing so therefore attractive and pretty much how uh, in the series all of these characters um uh even including um including shima the girl that she meets towards the middle of the series um they all basically put up with her antics of her being an otaku the four the four boys are not otakus in any way and they're really not into the same things that she's into but for some reason because she looks good they will continue to go along with her um fangirlism of these series um and along the way you know all the boys of course are vying for her attention and they're all vying to be with her um now with the second half of the series while well, the first half touched on that the second half of the series was actually not as serious to be honest and it while it still had a little bit of those elements it wasn't as pushed as it was in the first half because in the first half she does revert back to being a bigger girl and then goes back to being small again in the second half she stays relatively the same size the entire rest of the series and nothing really seems to change it does get a little bit funnier towards the end of the series um but it also starts to get a little bit more serious towards the end of the series because they in they basically introduced a new character in the series and that new character is kazuma mitsumi and basically he is the older brother of asuma mitsumi and he comes in as a teacher and he also ends up kind of in a way um kind of also wanting kai's attention in the series and this actually causes of course all of the boys to kind of try to assert their i don't want to say authority over her but try to assert their like and i hate to use the word ownership that's not what it is but basically to kind of state their claim on her and it also furthermore gets pushed when um asuma um the younger brother to kazuma of course he actually ends up telling kai how he actually feels and he's the only one in the series that actually ends up telling her how he feels about her and he's um who only one who actually does it on his own um with him doing this he also tells the other boys he's like you know basically what i'm doing is the same thing you guys want to do but you guys just basically to be blatant don't have the balls to tell her and then um ex ex except for except for uh shima shima doesn't have any balls so she doesn't have balls to tell her but regardless um this actually causes all the characters to then 
tell them tell uh, Kai how they actually feel about her. Uh, this is Kazuma aside. Kazuma at some point does further leave in the series but the other characters do tell her how they ultimately feel about her and then towards the end she has to think about that decision as far as whom of which she would choose and I'm not going to spoil this for anybody um, but I will say that the ending does leave it open to a second season potentially so we'll see what happens and if she we'll see what happens but um, as far as the rest of the series is concerned, uh, the characters is the biggest thing that I, one of the biggest things I do want to talk about. And with the characters of the series, they, Kai was the only one I feel like that didn't, she grew a little bit in the series, not completely. She did stay kind of the same, but she kind of showed to me as far of, far as that. I feel like she was more of a teacher for the other boys. Not so much for Shima, but for the other boys, I feel like she was more of a teacher as far as teaching them that um, pretty much everyone can be really into different things as far as that's what I was able to get out of it, you know? Um, she showed that, she showed them that, you know, it's okay to like, like stuff that is fairly different and she always like brought a smile to their faces and her personality was always bright and sunny and she she got depressed briefly but she also had her crazy moments but overall she just had a really good heart and that's what ultimately the boys ended up learning about her beyond just her looks especially Yusuke um he was the biggest one because he learned it fairly early on in the series probably within the first six episodes he definitely learned it and she was like the biggest teacher for all of them the other characters the boys overall they didn't they, some of them did grow and i say yusuke was probably the biggest one that had the biggest growth of the series because he went to truly truly caring about her as a person and not just for how she looks looks like and for i believe it's nozomu he he also kind of grew in the series too he was a very aggressive character towards the beginning and was very um fight oriented and very aggressive and kind of mean but towards the end of the series he did save off a little bit of that aggressiveness and he wasn't so much aggressive toward her but aggressive toward anyone that was going to do her harm and was mean to her um so a lot of them did grow hayato also grew as well he was the youngest one of the series and he also grew as well because he wanted to take on that role of trying to be a man. So overall, most of the characters did grow during the series. Um, Asuma was kind of stayed the same during the series, but he always was kind of a likable character from the beginning because he also from the beginning didn't care what she really looked like and mostly just wanted to know her. Um, and it wasn't until probably the boys put it into his head that he kind of wanted to explore something more romantic with her. Um, the music in the series i did really like you know the the beginning the opening and the ending song you know they were both fairly good um honestly i did kind of want to get it and download it onto my phone um i still haven't yet done that but overall they were it was a wonderful opening and a wonderful ending ending um visually the show to me looked like fairly any other anime show that I've fairly seen as far as the artistic style is concerned the only thing in the show that I actually really really liked and I I think other shows have probably done this but I can't name them off the top of my head was where anytime they show just the characters in basically just their body outlines and it was just a random just a head and shoulders they would then name the characters at the top as far as who they were in the order that they're in so that you knew exactly who was who and they did it based off of their last names i believe yes their last like the first four or three letters of their last name that's pretty much what they did and it was an interesting tactic so that you as a viewer knew exactly who was who and as far as the expressions on their faces but overall the show was very very enjoyable to watch it was fairly funny it kind of reminded me a little bit of like Oran high school host club just a little bit and uh, just because of how wackiness it is of the is of a show but also kind of some of the lessons that are learned during the course of the series so if you haven't already you know check out kiss him not me i believe it's on crunchyroll if you prefer to watch the show subtitled and if you do have a subscription with funimation they do have the show dubbed and it is a good dub i have no complaints about the dub like i mentioned before i don't care if a show is subbed or dubbed i will watch either one of them sometimes i'm lazy and i will watch dubs and sometimes I don't mind reading the show and doing reading, reading the subtitles. Yeah, um, but if you do have a do not have a subscription to Funimation, I believe you get 14 days free. It's either 14 or 30 days of a free trial, and then they will charge you. I believe the charge is 
$5.99, I believe, to uh, have a subscription to Funimation, which really isn't that bad. I mean, if you can go to a fast food place and buy a meal for seven, eight bucks, you can definitely afford to a uh, Funimation subscription service. Um, so yeah, now you don't have to worry about trying to eat, legally stream a show or legally download a show. Um, but yeah, so check out the, that show if you haven't already. And like always, you know, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will leave links down below to my social media accounts, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my anime blog, like always. And I'll also the link down below to the previous video for this which is my first impressions of kiss him not me and so you guys can check that out as well if you haven't seen that just yet and um yeah i have a new video for you guys on saturday and my new saturday i'm sorry on wednesday next week and that video is i believe going to be a tag video at least that's what i have planned we'll see what life brings me though all right you guys i hope you guys have a great day or week or whenever you guys are watching this and have fun all right, don't forget, like I said before, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. All right, bye. And like always, before I say bye, one of the newest things I've always learned is to always go for your dreams, no matter what, no matter how big, no matter how small, always go for your dreams because you never know what's going to happen. And I'm going to leave you guys with that too. All right, bye. All right, everyone. So as you can see, you made it to the end of the video. Number one, yay for making it to the end. And number two, if you just skim to the end to learn more about the giveaway, yay and then please go back and watch it please i worked hard on it please like it anyway the giveaway now the giveaway is that i am giving away first of all you know before i announce what i'm giving away um the sword Art online movie is coming out in march right yeah you're excited about it this it's called sword art online ordinal scale I'm making sure I get that right because every time I say it, it fast, I screw up somewhere in the middle about announcing the title. But anyway, what I'm doing because of this movie, which I'm sure you lovelies want to see and I also want to see, it is I'm giving away three, three, three pairs of tickets to see this movie. And to be able to be a part of this giveaway, to be able to, uh, you know, win these tickets, what you have to do is number one. One, be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Yep, subscribe to it. Number two, what you have to do, comment down below why you like Sport of Art Online and why you want to see this movie. That's all you got to do. Two very simple things. Number one, be subscribed to my YouTube channel. And number two, comment down below on why you like or love Sword Art Online and why you want to see the movie. That's it. That's all you got to do. That's that's it the contest is gonna the contest the giveaway is gonna go on for one week and on next Saturday which is the 25th the 25th of February is when I will announce the uh, the three winners I'm picking three people announce the three winners of this giveaway um, if you are picked at that point you will then have to contact me um, uh, your email address and your name and then I will then have send them to whom it is that will come then contact then email that email someone who will then email you regarding how you will then receive these tickets. That is how it is supposed to go. Okay, so once again, how you apply or be entered into this giveaway is number one, once again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Number two, also comment down below on why you like slash love Sword Art Online. And number two, uh, also what you, uh, why you want to see the movie. Those are the two criteria to be able to be entered into this, um, into this giveaway. And then it will go on for one week and I will announce the winners next Saturday. And then if you do not respond by, I'll give everyone a chance to respond by, or whomever I choose a chance to, I'll, I'll think of that in the next video. When I say on Saturday, next Saturday who it was I picked I will also say how long you have to respond to to respond with your information before I then select someone else all right you guys thanks so much and uh, get to get uh, may the odds be ever in your favor regarding this giveaway and if you know what movies that's from give it a thumbs up all right you guys thanks so much and 